everybody, it's Nina here. Today I'm going to review yet another e.l.f. product, which is the Studio Single Eyeshadows. There's 10 available on the UK site. I have only 9. I thought I had the 10. I will have the 10, don't worry. Um, the first one I'm going to review... For, oh, well, first of all, I'm going to show you the difference in sizes. Now, this is the Studio Blush and this is the Studio Eyeshadows, as you can see much smaller but for the amount of product that you're getting for one eyeshadow it's a lot so the first one I'm going to review is the wild wheat now I'm not going to swatch this oh sorry I'm not going to swatch this because it's more to your skin tone so it's not going to come out on my arms so there's no point in swatches but there it is on my finger perfect for blending out harsh lines or just wearing it on its own just to brighten your make your eyes brighter looking it's beautiful though, very pigmented as you can see. Um, this is definitely for every collection, you should have it in your collection. The next one I'm going to review is Pebble, which I don't have on my blog post. I have every one of these swatched and reviewed on my blog, which I will post down below. Um, so if you can't really see the colors or shades properly on this video, just make sure to um, click on the link below. Now the next one is Pebble. This is a matte and I think this is the only matte I have of this eyeshadow. It's a dark dark brown. Perfect for just everyday wear if you're going to go if you're on a rush just put that on your eyes and you're perfect ready to go. I have all of these swatched on my arm to make the video a bit shorter for you. So that's Pebble there. Very pigmented. And not at all powdery, so you're not going to lose a lot of product. The next one is Amethyst. 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 I think it's... Well, it's near enough the name anyway. It's Amethyst. Um, this is my favourite shade. This is my top. Top shade. I love it. It's a beautiful purple. Perfect. If you've got green eyes, this is a must-have because it makes your green eyes pop. Uh, again, a very pigmented can see and this is it here swatched beautiful shade I love it I love it this is definitely a must-have if you've got hazel or green eyes next one is charcoal now there's a lot of people giving out about this that they expected it to be black but if it was going to be black it would be named black not charcoal black this is charcoal it's not black <laughs> Um, anyway, this is a dark, dark grey. Perfect for a smoky eye look. As you can see, very pigmented. Dark grey. And this is it here. Beautiful shade. And even charcoal and amethyst is perfect together. Beautiful. Next one is Mystic Moss. Now this is more, it does look more like a dark grey, but there is a mossy green undertone to it. And perfect for anybody with green eyes. And that's what it looks like. And that's it there. See, as you can see the green undertone to it. Beautiful shade. They all come with a plastic covering like this, so it's very protected and you won't lose any product if you have it in your handbag. Um, Coffee Bean is the next one. And that is a dark brown with a little bit of shimmer to it. Now the shimmer doesn't really show when you apply it on your eyes, so don't be worrying about that if anybody doesn't like too much shimmer on their eyes. You're not going to have that showing up. And that is it there. It's a beautiful dark, dark brown. Nice one. The next one is Sand Dollar. This is almost matte. There is a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's, you could near enough say it is matte. Um, it's a white, perfect for your inner corners of your eyes. I don't know whether it's going to show up on this or not, but um, not there. that's it on my finger anyway. 
This one I find a little bit powdery, so be careful if you are using that to make sure to tap off before you apply it to your eyes. I do find that a bit powdery. It's not too bad though. It's well done. Next one is buttercream, which is a nice gold with a bit of shimmer to it too. That's up there. And that's what it looks like. This too is a little bit powdery, chalky. Um, but again, you don't get too much fallout with it. I don't know whether you can see that either. That's the there. As I said, uh, the pictures are quite good on my blog. So if you have trouble seeing this on the video, you definitely get the idea on my blog post. This is raspberry truffle, another one of my favourites, obviously because it's purple. This is really, really pigmented. There we go. And that's it swatch there. Now that's the final one, but I see that the US site has brought in five new shades, which are, I'll just tell you now, oatmeal, which is kind of like a nudie colour again. Sunset, which is a lovely peach shade, it looks like. Total Teal, which is a bright blue. Sea Blue, which looks more like um, purpley blue. And Purple Passion, which is a bright purple. Um, they have come into the US, so hopefully the UK site will get them in. Also, I want to tell you about the last and final 50% off deal the elf.co.uk is having. Um, if you are going to purchase any of these, get them now because it is the last, last, last 50% off. And you have one day, 21 hours, 26 minutes and 30 seconds to do that. And the code is LAST, which is in caps, 50. LAST, 50, all together. So get shopping, girls. And if you want anything else reviewed, I have loads of elf products so um just let me know what you want reviewed and don't forget to comment subscribe and rate this video if you like it and i'll talk to you soon bye